All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. So I have bought a freeze dryer, and what we are gonna do is we're going to stick a bunch of just a bunch of random stuff into the freeze dryer and see how it turns out. So we're gonna do uh, two loads, basically. I'm gonna do one load of just like a bunch of different candies, and then we're gonna do another load of like a couple different ice creams, um, and then like a bunch of different like fruits and stuff like that. And then we're gonna taste test them, see how it turns out. First one we're gonna do is candy. We're gonna do regular Skittles. Sour Skittles, Lemon Heads, Sour Patch Kids, Gummy Worms, Gummy Bears, and then we're also going to do Starburst. I'm going to get all this laid out on some trays. We'll put it in the freeze dryer. We'll see how it turns out. And just like that, we're good to go. I think I probably could have done a little bit better with the uh, distribution here. So we don't really need this much just to have a little taste test, but... I think we'll be fine. So this giant contraption is the freeze dryer. So we just put our trays in here. And it's a very simple process. Close the door. Close our vacuum line. Hit start. And in like probably six or seven hours, we'll be done. All right guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by AirUp. Now AirUp has sent me one of their holiday bundles. It, this bundle that they sent me is called the Naughty List. I'm gonna tell you about the bundle and I'm gonna tell you about AirUp and explain how they work. So the Naughty List bundle comes with a water bottle and it comes with three flavors. It comes with mango passion fruit, raspberry lemon, and orange vanilla swirl. What is Air Up and how does it work? So Air Up is a water bottle that adds flavor to your water, but unlike other water bottles that use like a powder or a syrup, Air Up does this through air. They do it through scent. So what you do is you have these scent pods that you add onto your water bottle and that adds your flavor. So for my demonstration, I'm gonna go with mango passion fruit because I like mangoes. So each one of these packages has three scent pods in it and it's super easy. All you do is open up your scent pod, put your scent pod on to the water bottle. And this water bottle actually has kind of like two modes. So like you can push the scent pod all the way down and just use it like a normal water bottle. It's just regular water, no flavor at all. And then whenever you want flavor, you kind of pull the, po the pod up just a little bit and you'll know it's in the right place because you'll be able to hear it. When you hear that sound, the water is being aerated through the pod and the flavor is being added to your water and you can taste it. And this mango passion fruit actually tastes really good. And it says right here on the package, each one of these pods is good for 1.3 gallons of water. So that is quite a bit of flavor. So if you're interested, this will be the last chance to get the holiday bundle. So you can click the links in my description. You will get 18% off, no code needed. And then on top of that, you can use code Tyler free shipping for free shipping. And just like that, our candy is done. So, you can, you can see a pretty drastic difference. Our Skittles have all, like, puffed up into something. The Starbursts are very, like, swollen, I guess is the only way to really put it. All the gummies, especially the gummy bears, are, like, blistered. Gummy worms are blistered. Wow, they feel really light, too. And Sour Patch Kids literally look like... Nothing happened to them whatsoever. At all. In fact, let me get some regular Sour Patch Kids. So here's a regular gummy worm and a regular Sour Patch Kid. You can see the difference here. And then the Sour Patch Kid, literally exactly the same. I actually don't remember which which one was in the freeze dryer. I think it was this one. I'll try, I'll try one of these that's been in the freeze dryer for sure. It's literally just a regular Sour Patch Kid. There's nothing different about it. Literally no change whatsoever. That's very strange. All right, let me try this inflated gummy worm. Oh, man. Man. That is not good. The, wow. 
So how puffed up it is, it's kind of deceiving. Because it makes you think that it's going to be, like, crunchy or something. But it's not crunchy at all. It's just, like... It's almost like it's just, like, puff, and then you, when you crunch down on it, it just becomes, like, the center, it's like the outside is, like, light and airy, and the inside is, like, the thickest, most dense, like, chewiness ever. It's really hard to explain, and that gives me very, very low hope for these gummy bears, because I feel like they're going to be the same way now, because they're all, like, puffed up on the outside. Oh yeah, I don't even want to eat that. Yeah, that's horrible. That's uh. Now when I say when I say it's horrible, let me be clear. The flavor is all still there, and it still tastes the same. Like the flavor's not bad. The texture is really bad because I I don't know about you guys. I hate things that stick to my teeth. Anything that sticks to my teeth, I don't like. And that's exactly what that what this does. This is like my worst nightmare. Because you bite into it, and it like crunches down, and all the all this air from all these blisters escape. Just like that. And then once you get down to the center of it, it's just probably 10 times chewier than it was to begin with and 10 times stickier. It's just not good. I would not, I would not recommend freeze-dried gummies. That whole tray is kind of, kind of bad. This tray actually looks pretty good. Let's start, uh, let's start over here with the Skittles. I think this one is regular Skittles. Oh wow, they're like all stuck together. All right, let's get a couple of these. That is crazy. I'm sure you can hear that crunch. That is nuts. That's literally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat all of this. It's like Skittles popcorn. Essentially. I'm not really a big Skittle person because I don't like things that stick to my teeth. This doesn't really stick to your teeth too bad, but that crunchiness is like, is crazy. If that's good, the sour ones have to be even better, for sure. Make sure we get all the colors. Come on. The sour ones are even better. I eat this stuff all day. Sour juice kind of builds up. I gotta be careful of that. I will eat all of this. I will literally turn these camera, cameras off and eat all that. All right, let's try some lemon heads. I wonder if, the lemon heads don't look like they're gonna be the same way. They look like they kind of tried maybe, but there's still some blisters and stuff, but uh. Eh, the lemon, lemon heads, they, you can tell they kind of tried to do the same thing. I think lemon heads are just like, honestly just made of different stuff. That one was all right. Lemon heads are, lemon heads are all right. Nowhere near as good as Skittles. Now Starburst, another thing I don't really like. Let's go, let's go with a pink one. I don't really like Starburst typically because they stick to your teeth. Oh, this is gonna be crunchy. That is kind of crazy. It really sticks to your teeth. Bad. Not a huge fan of that at all. Although the texture, the crunchiness, and the flavor, amazing. Even though it sticks to your teeth, I'll have one more. It's so weird having a Starburst flavor with that crunchiness. That is so crazy. That one really builds up on your teeth fast. I do not like that at all. Man, <laughs> that really sticks to your teeth. All right, so that is our freeze-dried candy. Um, that did not go as good as I expected, to be honest. I expected all of this to be like, you know, to really be different and like even better. But Skittles and Sour Skittles, by far top of the list. If you're going to freeze dry any type of candy, Skittles, Sour Skittles. 10 out of 10.
Those are absolutely delicious. I could eat all of those. And then next is by Starburst. Even though I personally don't like them, I'm sure tons of people would love how crunchy they are. Everything else is just kind of like not really worth it. I wouldn't, wouldn't even mess with it. So I'm gonna get these trays cleared off. And then next we are gonna do a bunch of different food. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get everything all cut up, put it all on the trays. I'll show it all to you when it's done. But we're gonna do uh, bananas, apples, grapes, blueberries, strawberries, uh, ice cream sandwiches, uh, watermelon. I think there might be some other stuff. But I'm gonna get it all on trays and I'll show it all to you when it's done. All right, so here's what we got. We have, we have <laughs> we're gonna start off with like our uh, dessert tray over here. We have a strawberry Pop-Tart, brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tart, and a big fat Oreo cream, Ore not Oreo cream, just Oreo ice cream sandwich. Then we have our regular ice cream sandwich. We have apple slices, banana slices. I have a few pieces of watermelon, which I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen with the watermelon because the freeze dryer sucks out all the moisture and watermelon is, I don't know what percent, but vast majority of watermelon is just water. So I think those are probably gonna shrink up into almost nothing. Same thing with the grapes. I have whole grapes and sliced grapes. I'm curious if those are gonna like shrink up like raisins or not. I have <laughs> sliced strawberries and then one whole strawberry, just because I'm curious to see what happens. And we got blueberries. So I'm gonna throw those in the freeze dryer and in probably 24 hours, we'll see what happens. All right, so we are done. Everything is finished and come out of the freeze dryer. Uh, some of the stuff looks a little bit rough and some of it actually looks uh, pretty good. So I think we're gonna work our way from uh, here to here before we get to our dessert tray. You know, we gotta have a meal before dessert. So let's start off with some bananas. These bananas feel very light and they almost have the texture of like they feel like I'm holding a piece of like like a packing peanut or something to be honest that's good that's really good it's almost like a chip and the flavor it's retained probably almost all of the flavor that is extreme that that's not only is that good, that's dangerous. I could literally sit down and eat a whole bag of these. That is so good. It is shocking how good that is and how much flavor they retained. I figured they would be like kind of bland because it's, I don't know, freeze dried. But no, the flavor's there and it's good. Right, let's try an apple. I wonder if it's even, oh, yeah. Okay, the banana has a good, like, crunch to it. The apple is like, I don't even know how to describe that. The apple has like a, it's just so chewy. Yeah, like you just, like you bite down on it and just like kind of like mushes down like a, like something that's just really soggy. That's not good at all. So let's go on to the, the watermelon. Which, which the watermelon did not shrink as much as I thought it would. It looks like some pieces of it have shrunk. Like this. Which is like some type of... <laughs> I'm not going to eat this. <laughs> some type of like gooey taffy consistency. Which is probably not good to eat. And then other pieces like this. Oh, that actually looks like it's dried all the way through. What about this one? All right, let's try this one. Hmm, texture is not my favorite. I think it's really sticky. I think where it has so much sugar in it, it's just so sticky. It really, really reminds me of eating cotton candy. That it, like, it looks like it is something. You put it in your mouth and just the whole thing just dissolves. And it's like condenses down to this one light, tiny little piece or something that's sticky left. But it has good flavor. So let's go on to these grapes, which are like still gooey, the whole grapes. I don't want to do this, but I know you guys want to see this. It's actually not bad. I thought that was going to be disgusting. That just tasted like a, like an old grape. 
to be honest. But it was nowhere near dry. These little pieces right here are probably going to be the same thing. Oh yeah, these are nowhere near dry. Oh, the cut in half ones are like just weird. Alright, so watermelon and grapes. Don't freeze dry those. Those do not do good being freeze dried for some reason. They're just so sticky. Let's go with strawberries. First, let's take a look at our whole strawberry. <laughs> this thing did not get freeze dried at all. What even happened to this? It's like tough. It's like it's been condensed down to like that same consistency that you get. Whenever you get like that uh, strawberry like goop that you put on like uh, strawberry shortcakes. It's almost like that, but in actual strawberry form. That's all over my hands. So let's, t this, let's go to the strawberries. Let's see. Oh, that's dry. Freeze dried strawberries. The flavor is so strong. I like that a lot. Those are so good. I'm going to eat all of those off camera. The blueberries have just like squirted out all kinds of juice. No, they're nice and crunchy though. The, the juice is like really sticky. Mm. Some of them are not dry. I wonder if blueberries just don't dry that well. I mean, that's good. Like this one, that one's not dry. I might have to mess around with some of the settings on the freeze dryer. But the ones that are dry, I mean, they seem pretty good. The fruit and stuff like that, all that came out pretty good. I don't really have any complaints there. So let's focus on our dessert tray. So, <laughs> I don't know <clears throat> what has caused this ice cream to like blister out like this. But it did, it makes no sense to me, but whatever. Let's start with the Pop-Tarts. Jeez. I don't know if that's freeze dried or if that's just stale. Because I think you'd get the same effect if you just left it out. I mean, it's a little crunchy. I think it's just stale, to be honest with you. Now this, this is just a stale Pop-Tart. I have had brown sugar and cinnamon Pop-Tarts that were stale. This is a stale Pop-Tart. So, Pop-Tarts, not really the top of the list. Now these ice cream sandwiches, these things are hard, like, Oh, oh wow, kind of destroyed it. But you, you get what I'm saying. Very hard. I kind of just like ruined this. <laughs> oh well, we can try it still. It still pretty much tastes the same. Like you still have the chocolate and vanilla flavor. Like it still tastes like you're eating ice cream, but the texture is just so far off. It's very, very strange. Let's just take a bite of this, this blistered out ice cream. Oh, that is so good. That is very good Oreo ice cream. This is so good. I mean, th these things are good <clears throat> without being freeze dried. Even freeze dried, where they're so crunchy, it's so good. 
it is an absolute mess, but so, so good. Delicious. The ice cream, amazing. Strawberries, bananas, amazing. Everything else, kind of like, eh, take it or leave it. But ice cream with strawberries and bananas, that is, that's beautiful. The Oreo one, so good. So, so good. After watching me try all these different foods and freeze drying all these different things, I know that probably most of you are sitting there and the only thing that you're wondering is, why didn't you do any pickles? I didn't forget about the pickles. Obviously, I have pickles. As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna put them in the freeze dryer and I'm gonna try them. And I'm gonna show you guys that even freeze dried, pickles are absolutely disgusting. So. I'll see you in a little bit. The pickles are done being dried. Thankfully, I'm so happy they're done and I'm just so glad that I get to try these freeze dried pickles. They look like garbage because that's what they are. They don't look a whole lot different than right out of the jar. They're pretty hard. They're like styrofoam and they still smell horrible. I cannot express to you how excited I am to try these pickles. I'll go for the bigger one because I'm sure that's what you all want. <clears throat> I don't know, my eyes watering. I didn't know you could make a pickle any worse. That's horrible. I almost want to try one out of the jar just so I can confirm if it's worse out of the freeze dryer or not. Oh, how do you even describe that? It's like all the flavor is like condensed or concentrated. It's like the flavor's con like concentrated. So you bite into it, you don't really taste anything, and then as it kind of like gets wet and like softens up, then you just have this like super concentrated nasty pickle taste. I, I do not want to do this. This is so gross. I'm literally going to try one out of the jar just so I can compare if it's wor if it's better or worse than the freeze dried ones. A tiny little tiny little piece. Okay, this is, don't get me wrong, this is absolutely disgusting and this is horrible. But this is so much worse. It's probably, I would rather eat 10 of these than a whole one of these. This is so bad and it's so concentrated. Whatever freeze dry, what, the freeze drying process, whatever it does to these pickles, makes them so much worse. Stay away from that. That is disgusting. That's all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.